and I really have to say that I am thankful for Target's business uh, relationship with Mattel because it allows a lot of great Jurassic Park items and especially because it allows a lot of great Masters items to come out at a time when it does seem like retailers are kind of shying away from some of the Masters stuff. I see uh, a lot of the stuff clog the shelves at Walmart and my local store. Distribution is a little weird, but the truth is, you know, kids are the major drivers of a lot of this stuff. And it's really us adults that are buying the master stuff and it's done incredibly well to just really have been us adults most of the time. I'm not saying that's the case every time, but I'm saying it's a case a lot of the time. Which gets me to Scott Nightlig, uh, the toy guru and uh, his YouTube channel. And uh, in the past, I have actually defended Scott a little bit. Uh, I have, of course, talked about how it was hard for me to just go full on offensive on the offensive about Scott because uh, he has gotten some things right in the past. And also he uh, shepherded in my favorite toy line of all time, Masters Universe Classics. With that being said, I, I think a lot of his content on his channel is really, really good. I really do. At the same time, I am starting to see that a lot of it is kind of leaning towards um, a real negative slant when it comes to Masters. And that is not me trying to say that there's definitely some sort of malicious slant to it because I really do have respect for Scott. I know that that probably isn't what a lot of my audience wants to hear or what some of you all want to hear uh, because I do have respect for him. He brought me such a great toy line. But, uh, you know, Scott, I, I just want to say that after seeing all these predictions he's making and uh, all these supposed confirmations and sources that the line is over, there's a lot of things that don't make sense about it. There are some things that do make sense. Of course, I do think that it's going to, uh, this might be the last year we see some of this stuff at like Walmart because it's just not doing well there. I think Mattel and Target do have a special relationship because uh, they're able to get those clearanced out to where there isn't a whole bunch of stuff just left lying around at Target. And it seems like that keeps things rotated, especially when it comes to these deluxe figures. And, uh, you know, you got new releases like New Adventures He-Man has just been hitting in the Masterverse line, which I hope to find soon. So there's all kinds of reasons to believe that this will at least continue at Target and a lot of other retailers because, um, you know, that's, it's not just Masters. There's a lot of toy lines that are struggling a little bit right now. Go and just have a look. If you, if you think Masters is doing poorly, there is a lot of action figure lines that are doing much more poorly uh, at retail. <laughs> and uh, they're piling up and clogging up the pegs and that's even stuff with like major movies and uh, media pushes behind it. It's not too much of an anomaly when it comes to a lot of the other things we're seeing. That being said, every toy line ever ends eventually and I feel like that, that as some people have said that uh, Toy Guru is going to continue to say that it's over until it is over and it, and it will be one of these days. I just don't necessarily think 2023 is the year it might end. I, maybe 2024, 25, maybe after some of these releases that yes, they've already announced uh, comes out and they've already shown off. There's still a lot to look forward to. We've not got Eternia yet for all the people that funded it. There's the Snake Mountain that was shown in its very early form. There's a lot of releases and a lot of Mattel Creations releases. And heck, one of these days, you know, the line, it's, it's a good chance it may transition straight to being Mattel creations and you know and it'll be a direct to consumer line with maybe some target exclusives and I'm okay with that because they've managed to get out a huge amount of characters in a very short amount of time and the real thing that I want to say here is I just don't know where this negativity comes from I just don't know what it is to me that's I know that that gets clicks I really do I know it gets clicks but I am not a that there is too much negativity already in the fandom and so if you're gonna do that and I know that people love to click on those kinds of videos and trust me more some of more of my contentious videos I see that they do well and uh, YouTube is kind of this vacuum uh, it's an echo chamber to where if you start to see that videos like that get views it's going to color you and your attitudes if you're not careful and I, I'd like to think I am careful that I don't go down that path that I, I try to keep it positive. And I just feel like it's pretty insincere at this point to say Masters is falling apart. Look at this. 
This figure is the height of what Mattel has accomplished so far in Masters in this modern era. They've finally done it. They've completely obliterated and surpassed the previous classics version of this character. There's almost no debate about that. I mean, I would love to hear your arguments below for why this isn't as good as the classics version. I mean, it, it, would, it would give me some interesting reading, I would hope. But I mean, for me, it's obvious this one is the goat right here. So yeah, I'm just not, I'm not having it with these arguments. I'm not having it with the negativity uh, because yeah, sure, it's not doing well in some places, but a lot of toy lines, Transformers get sent to like clearance uh, retailers and these different, you know, sources and Jurassic Park gets sent uh, to clearance and Batman gets sent to clearance. This is what you're seeing and Masters fans aren't used to this. You are seeing Mattel integrating Masters into the regular evergreen kind of life cycle that toys go through. If you have collected any other line, then you know that lots and lots and lots of these lines end up in clearance. They end up in these bargain retailers and they do that so that they can clear it out and they can make room for the next wave of stuff and then try it all over again. Mattel, I think, has made a conscious decision in the last four years or so that they are actually going to roll with some of these punches and not just uh, cut, run, surrender about masters like they have in the past because that's what they used to do. They used to just quit when things got hard and I have just not seen that kind of quitting. I've seen them just continue to fan the masters flames and to continue to release things and they're just not giving up. So yes, I know that there's a bunch of it at clearance. Yes, I know the line might end one of these days uh, and that's fine, of course it will. But I think this is the best time since the original run for Masters because you've got Mattel who are just being stubborn. They're refusing to give up on Masters. They keep pushing it. They keep pushing in uh, with Mattel Creations, which they're using to promote uh, this line at retail and other places. They have a solid relationship with Target. Target clearly believes in those Masters releases. I just think that this is a better time than we've had in a long time with Masters, probably since that original line. So I have to stand back and I have to ask myself, even if the line is ending tomorrow, the corporate overlords are about to take this thing over or whatever from Sony or Columbia or whoever they claim owns Masters now, why fixate upon that? Even if it happens tomorrow, why not enjoy what's right in front of you? Because it's foolish not to. We've only got today, and so let's enjoy what we've got. And no matter what anybody tells you, whether they're the former brand manager of Mattel or just some YouTuber that has never had any position with the company whatsoever, like me, it doesn't matter because you can rest easy knowing that in the last couple of months, we got Masters of the Universe 87 deluxe figures that actually appeared at retail and online, and you've got the greatest too bad figure ever made. So yeah, let's be positive. And as always, God bless you and yours. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. And I'll see you on Fanboys Forever. Fanboy out.